Look at the front. Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. What an amazing drift by moose hunt. That one I'll never forget. Thank you, Lord. But I'm gonna tell you, wow, what what an exciting adventure. That was cool. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, Vic, what are we doing? Well, this week it's Ralph's turn. <laughs> wow, so, I can't believe it. A couple it. weeks ago, <gasps> we had my 20th anniversary on Outdoor Channel, favorite moose hunts, Moose Mania. This week, it's Ralph's turn. And I have just a, a list of people I want to thank. I mean, I can't. No, it's the oh. footage. It's the oh. hunts. It's not, you're sorry. not thinking it. You didn't win anything. You're just going to go ahead and talk about it. Yeah, I won a lot. We filled the freezers. We, we have. We've filled been the walls. Very blessed. We just had a blast. You know, yes. yeah, we're not going to waste any time. Nope. I've been hunting moose, well, for, for a, a long, long time. time. Started hunting them in the late 80s and got hooked, and, and it's been a passion of, my, of ours now forever. And then roll that moose footage. Moose Mania. Memoirs of moi. All right, so I had this idea years and years ago. A long time ago. Yes. So I went to I went to the appliance store. I got this, I got a refrigerator box. Yep. I cut it so I could flatten it. I drew a cow moose on there. Yep. I cut it out. I just invented another thing. Check it out. If we leave that right on the seam, the wind blows, that's going to give actual dimension and movement to our new patented life-size moose cow decoy. I had you go to the fabric store I and get fake, fake fur. Fake fur. And I glued it and taped it on. Wilma the moose. What do you think, Wilma? You gonna call those bulls in? <laughs> and I told Fern about it. And he thought I was whacked. He's like, there is no way. We are not carrying that out in the middle of nowhere. We are not doing this. Well, we did. We even put it on a plane on the way out there. Fern's like, uh -huh. It's not gonna happen, it's Fern, not gonna work. Fern's gonna stay by her. I'm gonna go where we thought it was a pinch point where you know possibly the bull would come out. But Fern had his bow as well. Yes. But yep. Fern's like, this is never gonna work. So he starts calling, and we hear Whoa. You know, when you're moose hunting, if you hear one of them antlers hit a tree, you, you know. know he's coming. He is coming on his way. And he comes straight out in front of us, about 100 and so, some odd yards. Yep, up and on he that ridge. he comes down the ridge, and stops, and I'll never, ever forget it. You see him, and he's like, wow, dude. He's like, there's yes. a chick over there. <laughs> and so he, whoa, whoa, and as he's getting and closer. his eyes are rolling in the back of his head. And Fern, Freaked who out. wasn't a believer at that time, believes now. Matter of fact, I think losing almost every arrow in his quiver made him a true believer. Hold on, Fern. Fern, he's drawn. He emptied his quiver at the bull, and the last one, the bull had turned around, looked at him, and he hit shot it right into the hit, antler. He, he deflected off an alder and a willow branch, and it went up and, and hit in the antler. So then the bull spins and starts running, and he runs stops and looks back and when he does he's broadside at me i ranged him i drew back my hoyt and i let that beam and fly Got him. and we pinned him and he ran and we watched it never forget that no he does a header right into the buck with the rack on his head boom it was pretty intense you know to this day i still think maybe that arrow that mass weight of fern's arrow might have drew his head down into the ground. I'm not I'm, really sure. I'm pretty sure that did not no, do it. No, me neither. Mm -mm. Sorry, Fern. No. 
Oh man, what a gorgeous animal. We got a good shot though. Well. well, hey, I got lucky. Look at this bull. Holy Toledo. <laughs> nice one, Ralph. Fern, I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. He made a lot of noise, eh? Man, he was grunting. He was thrashing. He was doing everything. Sure I can't enough. believe it, huh? <sighs> this bull, I mean, you picture perfect. Fern called him in. It was just... You talk about teamwork, working together. And, we, you know, we're all set up to... to Either one's gonna get the shot, and it just, really, we both both had the opportunities. And he came right into the decoy. Right, he come. You can see the decoy over there, we got it. Look at that, like two. 10, 15 yards from the cow decoy. Beautiful. So we got up in the Yukon, and you know, our, you gotta wait at least six hours. Right. So what we did is we waited our time and we figured we're just gonna go downriver and just see how things... And just look, we weren't planning on really hunting. No. Well, we go down and we start coming back up and we just spot just times. Antlers. We just spot, I mean, and it looked pretty good. So the river's a little bit lower than the bank. Yeah, so, so we were looking bank, up. we're looking up and you can just see times in the sky and you're like, well, what the heck was that? When we saw that bowl, he was almost like in a little timbered opening and the lighting was just beautiful. Oh, I mean, it was it was, was kind of crazy. You don't want to get all sentimental and weird on it, but it was beautiful. Hurried up, we checked the wind, we came back, the, we come back around quietly, beached the boat. Got up in there, Russ, we start calling a little, and boom, he hits us right away and he's on fire. And he just, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's coming and I'm ready and I'm, and you could see him, but you don't real, I really didn't realize how big. Yeah. And then when he presents the shot, boom, I take him. He doesn't go 20 yards. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, let me tell you something. What did you say? <laughs> you said one down the first day. Oh. What a ball. When he made that shot and it ran off, and it just seriously, it ran around and it landed on this rock bed that was just crazy. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Look at that bull. Well, when we get to this bull, we realize, oh my gosh, to date, he is still the biggest bull that either one of us have ever taken. Our second year back here at McMillan River Adventures and first night out, and this never happens for me, just so you know. It's always Vicky, but never me. First night out, Russ said, oh, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna take a bull tonight. And you know how we are, we're like, yeah, okay, all right. Lo and behold, the last hour, or not even, of our first day here at McMillan River. My goodness, they got the animals. So Don, Vicky, and I are going up and down the rivers. We're checking for fresh sign. We're, you know, and and just seeing. And we had some great activity. As we came around a bend, we looked, and you could see from the sun oh, yeah. hitting the paddles of this bull, bedded. Bedded on the down. shoreline, like 30 yards off the shore. We're gonna beach right beside him. There's nowhere to go. So up in the Yukon, as long as you have the motor off Most of out your of the water, provinces and states. you're good to go. So that's exactly what we did. We turned the motor off, he put it up, and he just used his paddle to kind of guide the boat. And when, as we drifted by, I mean, it was crazy how it happened, and it happened so fast. The current is perfect, the wind is perfect. Don shuts her down, and we just drift. drift. We don't do anything. Wait, we're coming by. Don's controlling the boat. We're going perfect. I come to full draw. He slowly gets up, stretches a little bit. Shows that shoulder. <laughs> he ate my arrow. 
He ate it. He ate it right in the, right in the chest cavity. Spins, runs, goes in the bush, and goes down. What an amazing drift by moose hunt. That one I'll never forget. Good deep. Yeah, no, that's good. Beaming speed. Yeah, it sped right into him. Oh, baby. Another. Oh, big McMillan River Bull. <laughs> Moose mania, man. You know, we, we floated by this bull. We actually floated by this bull. I did, never thought we'd have floated that close to him. Uh, but we had no option. I, no. I mean, we couldn't bank. I, that's all we could do was try, and it worked. Yep, we just done rock the five, another bull in the Yukon. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Look at that. He's pretty wide. Another great bull here up in the Yukon with the Miller River Adventures. Don Lind again puts us on him. Unbelievable. Like I said, we floated by this one. And, you know, it's funny because we've been up here for five days. Vicky's hunted four days. She said, you know what, let's change our luck. Maybe you hunt this morning. I hunted this morning. Yes, Moose Mania, I got it. We gotta figure out what's going on with Vic though. So, we, it's been, it's, it was a rough hunt. It was a rough Moose hunt. The weather. weren't playing. I mean, they just, it was quiet. Yep. Lo and behold, we've got to fly out today. I mean, it was, it was, yeah. it was over. And, you know, Don's like, well, let's just go out in the morning. We'll just see what happens. And, but we've got to be back by like noon. At about 11.45, we spotted a bull up on a ridge. Across the lake. He was pretty high up there. And, and they said, hey, why not? Let's go. So we did. We, did. we boogied. And I mean, we got up. We hiked all the way up, got on this plateau, called, he responded, and this guy was hot. We were, we actually, I, I think what we got in his backyard. Right. You, you know what I mean? Yep. We got in his backyard, he was all fired up. He came right to the call. I shot him at like 12, 15 yards. Double lung them, he runs 30, piles up. I don't know what to say. The last day, the last morning of the hunt. The last. The last, yeah, this is it. And we just pinned a Yukon bull, baby. By the time it was all said and done, she was pretty ticked at me. Because now it was like. We may miss our flight. Oh, and yeah, we she, need to get home. She, she repeated that 150 times. No, probably more than that. We're going to miss the flight. We're going to miss the flight. Is that how I do We're going to miss the flight. I'm going to start making faces like you We're going to miss the flight. The flight, we're going to miss it. And I'm like, honey, you, you got it. We're here. We, we have to take, we have to seize every opportunity. Look at the size of this animal. That is a big old bull. <laughs> Oh, he oh my gosh. He stinks. Congratulations, Ralph. Oh, buddy, it's because you. Seriously, right. we're a team. Look at that bull. Oh my gosh. McMillan River Adventures. Why do we come to the Yukon year after year after year? What do you do? The last day, the last few hours of a hunt, but the reality of it is, is unbelievable. What a big, old, mature bull. I mean, this. look at the size of this animal. This is why you come to the Yukon. This thing is, this thing's 14, 1,500 pounds. And one beaming, baby. And my hoy. You and I stayed up there. We continued just to- Chopping. To, to, yep. Yeah, to debone it, to get all the meat put together. The boys came up, Ryan and Tyler, they came up. They started grabbing loads at a time to take it back down to the boat. We got everything to the boat and over to the camp. Right about five minutes before that plane landed. So when we got back to camp, we took off our muddy, our bloody gear, 
hurried up, throw everything in there, sleeping bags, everything had to have everything. No shower, no, no, no wash, shower, no, no, no nothing. No nothing. And we got on that float plane and headed off to Whitehorse. I did it. So now this next hunt is, um, we saw a bull, a little bull. We got to working on him. We wanted to get closer look at him. Realized he wasn't, you know, age was structure young. and everything. He was a young bull. And so, you know, we figured we're, after all the calling, we brought him right to us. We figured, you know, we're gonna get down. As we start climbing off the ridge, we hear another bull. And he's up on the ridge. He's up on the top of the mountain ridge. Yep. Yep. And he start, he's grunting, and he and we look, and all you could see is this, in the sun is these big paddles. I didn't waste any time, man. There he is. He's going left. Try to call him. Don, Vicky, and I figured, hey, we got to hurry up and try to get, try to cut the distance down. So he's up on the top ridge, and he's working his way down that ridge, and we're on the other hill here, and we're trying to get down the bottom, because where we're located is just a pile of thick willow branches, and there's really not a shot in there. So we need to get out of here as fast as possible. It's my hunt. I know. It's my week. I was filming it. I was there. I was there for all of them. I was, absolutely. So we got this bull, and this bull, it, there's no doubt, he's coming. He's coming straight at And he's coming down, he's going through all this thick stuff. We're all checking the wind. Well, we figure we gotta go through all this thick stuff, you know, to try to get him in the low part of that valley, wind's coming good, to get in that low part of valley for a clear shot. Lo and behold, he beat us. He disappeared for like just a couple minutes. I don't even think it was, me. yeah. And so we're looking to still trying to get down, and all of a sudden, he's straight next to us. He's, like, he's, he's, he is level with us, walking through these alders. Yeah. And he's tamer, I mean, he's just, and he's walking and he's getting all caught up and he's coming and coming and I'm, I'm, I come to full draw and I'm, I'm getting ready to hoit ties him. So I end up shooting him at like, Six feet, seven feet, something like that. Takes the air right in the chest, puts his head down, and comes right at him. All those willows, all those alders just come slapping down on top of my head. But I'm gonna tell you, wow, what what an exciting adventure. And she wanted to kill me, and I think the bull did too, but I survived. Wow. That was the Moose Mania adrenaline rush of all Moose Mania adrenaline rushes. And I can honestly say I didn't, I didn't crap in my pants. Mm -mm. That's sure. the moose smell you're smelling. Oh yeah, look at the, look at the fronts. Yeah. Whew. Now he stinks. Whew. Hey buddy, you and I had a close encounter. Sorry, but I won. <laughs> oh my lord. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and a half. <laughs> 23. Okay. We had to get the three. Yeah, because we had to beat her three. by one, but no, 23. This, this won't beat Vicky's. I, I, I know that. But the encounter will. Huh? Yep. Come on, the encounter was. That, that's a 9.5 out of 9, not encounter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lordy, what a beautiful animal. Oh my gosh. But uh, unbelievable. That's why we come here to McMillan River Adventures. I mean, we're up here in the Yukon and every year, don't kid yourself, every year it's not like it's going down, it just keeps getting better. This is what 20 years in the Outdoor Channel does to a person. <sighs> Listen. Just saying. <laughs> it just brought back so many memories. I love that. I love all of it. I, I love every aspect of it. I don't, you know, even packing them out, there's nothing I don't love 
about moose hunting. No, I know, and it, we're so fortunate to be able to do this for a 20-year anniversary yes. to share all of our favorite hunts back with you guys, and we're reliving them again, and we think about all the wonderful moose burgers that we've had over oh the years and everything else. So you know what? We want to thank you guys for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.